My name is Rachel Pelo, um, and I'm from Soweto, Malabo, in the Gauteng province. And I'm an HIV counselor and a person living with HIV and AIDS. I was tested when I was eight, when I was pregnant, and I was told that they were doing a blood test. And how would I benefit from if I, I take a, a blood test? How would my baby benefit? Luckily, uh, where in those days when I went to uh, Bara, I was introduced to um, antiviral drugs that they were doing tests to see whether they are working or what in this country. And I just give it a try, looking at their possibilities of having a negative child. They told me it, it might work, it might not work. And uh, luckily at the end I gave birth to a baby boy and now he's HIV negative. When I started coming out, I never had that much problem because I think people have been informed about HIV and they know it's existing. But the problem was who, who are these people? Do we have them in our townships? And um, I think it has been an eye-opener to the community I live in because they usually drop in my house for information and they'll ask me questions and, you know, somehow to those who had fears, who had uh, very sick children, they would come home and say, what are you giving to your child? Can we talk about it? So somehow I think people are benefiting. I would say she's done a lot for people. She seems to understand them, the pain they're going through. She, she's offering them a shoulder to cry on. She's there whenever they need them, they've got problems, even if they need to come with their families or with their partners. She's always available okay. and eager to help. She's, she's very good at what she does. Presently, I'm, I'm working for Cotland Sanctuary that is based in Tenfontaine. Um, together with, it's a joint venture together with the research unit where I've been asked to come and coordinate the programs for volunteers who are offering voluntary the services for counseling those women that we see on our, in our unit. I know when she comes to Cotlands, everybody's really excited because Rachel's here. And it's just like, um, you know, it's just that yes. she's so positive and, yes. and so um, encouraging and so uplifting. You know, I think for, particularly for the staff that work continually with, with children that are dying, to actually see somebody who's li living positively, it's, it just gives hope. Having HIV children is more expensive rather than preventing children from getting infected. We still, you know, are debating on issues of whether to give treatment or not, but uh, that if you give treatment, at least we would have a negative nation, you know what I mean? I did an HIV test. Mm -hmm. Now your results are big. Are you still interested in getting back your results? Yes. Your results are full? Yes. So, I'm going to start to talk from the SCC. The SCC is our tour. We found you. We are HIV positive. I would like to say to women out there in this country, this is high time that we need to join hands together and combine and fight the struggle of HIV. And I truly believe together we can do it if we all join hands and say no to abuse.